Hi guys, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I actually just done cutting these flowers because I will be making um, a couple floral arrangements and I definitely will be using this video to do an instructional video and an educational video. So please stay tuned. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Okay, guys. So I will be using two mason jars to do the floral arrangement. In another video, actually, I'm going to show you how I did the um, hanging accoutrement on the mason jars. And we're also going to be looking a little at our color wheel hair. Now we're doing a complimentary um, color scheme in our bouquets, just like we do different combinations inside our homes or offices. What is a complementary color scheme? It is a color scheme that has at least two colors which are opposite from each other on the color wheel. For example, red is opposite to green. So if you should use red and green in your space, you are using a complementary color scheme. Here, I have yellow and I have purple. I have some Black Eyed Susan. It has been very warm today. So check this out. They are limping, but they'll perk themselves up as soon as they hit the water. So I'm not too worried about them. Anyways, yeah, purple and yellow are opposite. It says here violet, violet, purple, mauve, <laughs> opposite on the color wheel. So they are complementary colors. They complement each other. So if you're choosing like um, your fabrics or you're choosing even paint to go on the wall and you stick within the, those two colors, like you can get a variety of tints and tones within the one family and you do that on the opposite end within the one family, you have a complementary color scheme. Now, I don't have only yellow and purple hair. I also do have white. And the reason I have white hair is because when you use colors that are opposite from each other on the color wheel, they tend to intensify each other, which means that they tend to make each other look brighter, right? So in a situation like that, what you want to do is to introduce a neutral. Now a neutral could be a cream, a taupe, or a, um, ivory, or a white. In this instance, I am going to be introducing white in the floral arrangement here so that the white can create that break and um, allow the purple and the yellow to shine and not be as intense because when they're intense it's like they're fighting each other so what you have to do is to introduce even in your space we're talking about your de your decor in your home if you have um complementary colors they're intensifying each other you can introduce a neutral to help to break them tone them down and help them to work together harmoniously. 
right so that's my color lesson for you now let's get at it and do the floral arrangements i really i hope what i said before um does help now let's go ahead and put the arrangements together so i am gonna start with my basic golden rod. We have lots of golden rods around here. Now, I don't want them to be too tall above my little hanger here, just in case I want to. Actually, I'm going to hang them. And so, yeah, I don't want them too tall. So I'm just measuring against the little hanger here to see how tall they are. And as a matter of fact, I could put them all together. Let's um, snip off the bottom of these two because they're taller. And then I do that. And I'm going to cut on the diagonal because the theory is if you cut them on the diagonal, it gives them more surface area to actually drink water. So i think um that's good and i'm just gonna take off some of the leaves i don't want too much leaves in the water we're gonna put it's a basic arrangement guys nothing too fancy i'm gonna have it here in the greenhouse and so when i come in i have a little beauty in the greenhouse it's a small space it's a 10 by 10 but I should give you guys a tour because I have a loft area up there. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna need a little more water in this jar. And I think I'll need more in this one too. Okay, I'll put three in each. Definitely when they drink water and per cup, they will look better. The blooms are all curling in. Now let's get our white. Now I love the rain because the plants need the rain, but there are some blooms in the garden that don't do very well with the rain. When it rains, it just, they go bad. And these Shashta daisies are one of those blooms. These ones I love to work with. Gypsophila. <laughs> okay, guys, this is what it is. It is exceptional in bouquets. Look at this. They're starting to prick up. So let's put these Gypsophila in. Just too much. Let's. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it personal. Okay? Even when you are decorating your home, make it personal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't make it stuffy like you can't function in the space. Yeah, I think that's good. That one, let's put this on the other side of this. And I think that's good enough for me there. Oh, to my mama. My mama loves to make um, floral arrangements. She loves gardening too. She loves her flowers. 
and uh, she does very well at it believe me yeah she does so oh to my mama oh there we go my friends thank you so much for watching the video thanks for sticking with me i hope the information i gave you was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed do go ahead and click that subscription button remember also to click the bell notification icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.